Hey everyone, it's Sybil. I'm here to share with you my latest design team project for Cynthia Luhu's Digital Designs. And I colored a teapot this time instead of an actual little image, you know, image stamp of a person. And this is the teapot, and I hope you can see that. Did you know me and my bad lighting in my room? I know it's kind of getting redundant, me saying it every time, but it's true. Um, and this is teapot number two. Cynthia has three teapots in her store. I will have the link to her store down in the description box. And it's teapot two Luhu. Really, really pretty. And I wanted to color this teapot rather than one of the you know people stamps this time because I just wanted to challenge myself to something different with my Copics. And here is my card. It's an easel card. And I love this image. It reminded me so much of my love of tea and how it began when I was a little girl. My siblings got to go skating and I didn't get a go. So my mom said, it's okay. And she called me Sipchens. She's German. And we would make cookies and have tea and I still remember I felt like a grown-up having tea and she made it so special I didn't feel so bad missing out on skating with my brothers and my sister um, and my love of tea has been with me ever since I collect teapots and teacups just beautiful ones my husband has given me through the years and um, so yeah, I was thrilled to color this beautiful, beautiful image. And I love the flowers inside of it. And I added a little, little here's the, you know, the spout, but on the image here, let me show you again. It's just, oops, sorry about that. It's just solid there. And so, you know, just like when you get stamps, you can add folds when and on clothing when there isn't any and I'm really enjoying doing that with my Copic markers so I made you know the little opening there to pour but this teapot is being used as a vase and um, I've used several spellbinder dies and I will put as many of the dies that I have the um, names of down in the description box and this is one of my favorite Spellbinder dies. It's called Valiant Honor. I love the name of it, and I love the look of it. So, so pretty. It's really elegant. And um, I cut this die out, I mean this teapot image out with a scallop Spellbinder die. And then I used another Spellbinder die, and I cut it in half and tucked it under here. I hope you can see that like it's like um, kind of like a lace effect or a doily, you know. And then I cut some more Spellbinder dies. And again, let me see if I can find this one in particular. I think, let me see, is it the one? I think it actually might be this one of the Valiant Honor. And I just cut it in half. Maybe it's not. I don't remember you guys. Oh, here it is, here it is. Here it is. And it is called Divine Eloquence. So I cut that in half and then just angled it under here. And I really like the way that turned out. You can do so many different things with your dies, you know. Just think out of the box and, and it's amazing what you can do with them. This is um, Memory Box Butterflies. The large one is called the Delaney Butterfly. And then I have the Kenningston Border, and I just cut out a couple of those butterflies. And then I um, layered them for dimension. I know I love butterflies. I tried my hardest not to put hearts on here, and believe it, I did not put one heart on here. Put some beautiful flowers. I put a little bit of stickles on there and a gorgeous cameo. And then I added some ribbon here. There's some really pretty paper back in the background. Added some light blue ribbon and some flat back pearls here and here. And it is an easel card. And 
Inside is the sentiment. It says, a cup of tea makes everything better. And that is from the Whimsy Stamp set. And here it is. And I got that from Jamie's Not Too Shabby Shop. And it's called Time for Tea Editions. And it also has a die cuts with it. And um, a dies with it. And then for this, I put some pearls in there added some more ribbon on the bottom and some more flat back pearls and there is my easel card i hope you guys like it please go visit cindy's shop and she has three teapots they are all beautiful and i know it's summertime but it's always time for tea in my world and coffee too you guys have a fabulous week. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.